Hello YouTube! The Insport Dashboard is a space where you can not only show your data in a convenient way, but also it's an environment where devices, assets, users and customers' management can be implemented. In this onboarding video you will learn which consists of three parts, you, we will develop a dashboard that will display buildings on the map widget. For each building we will render a list of devices that belong to it and place those devices on a building plan. For each device we will create a separate panel that displays the current incoming telemetry, as well as a timeline for the historical data. For the temperature sensor we will create a control panel and definitely we will have an alarm widget that will notify us if their room temperature is below or above some threshold. Well, let's get started! At the very beginning we need to add assets and devices and then return to our dashboard configuration. For Thingsboard Professional Edition you may see Asset Groups section on the sidebar. Press the button, now click on plus icon and add new asset group. Then we will create new asset. Let's put the name District a and choose the asset type district. Click Add. You may congratulate yourself, we've created your first asset. Now add two more assets, building A and building B. Type of this asset would be buildings. To ensure that our buildings relate only to our District A, we will create a relation. Go to District A Asset Details, you will see there the Relations tab. Click on Plus to add relations. Choose Assets, Building A. Repeat the same for the Building B. As you may see, we define that District A contains Building A and then contains building B. Now let's add three devices. Go to the device groups Create a device thermostat A1 for example with device type temperature sensor Then we need the energy meter A1 with device type energy sensor and water meter A1 with device type water sensor. Now we'll create relations between buildings and our devices. So we will tell the thing board, for example, particular device installed in particular building. Go to Building A Details and add relations. Now all recently created devices relates to Building A. Now let's start to configure our dashboard with map which displays our buildings. Click on particular asset to open the details menu. You will find the attributes tab of Building A. In order to display markers on a map, you need either configure latitude and longitude or use input marker placement map widget. Just click plus, enter the key name, address. The value would be the string. And add server attribute. For example, latitude. Value would be the double. Configure the longitude Now repeat for the building B Add server attribute latitude and longitude Now we'll create your first dashboard. On the side menu you can see the dashboard groups section. Press the button. Create new dashboard. Name it for example the guide dashboard. Open it. 
Let's change the title for the first tab to District A. For this purpose, press the pencil button, manage dashboard state, edit dashboard state and change the name to District A. In order to create a dashboard, you need to configure aliases and define data source from which entities will be used. To learn more about aliases and data sources in Thingsboard, go to this video. Now choose the entity alias and add alias. Call this alias buildings and choose the filter type. This would be the asset type that you want to display on a dashboard. This would be buildings. Click Add and Save. Now we will add a map widget, OpenStreetMap, which visualizes two of our assets on the map, Building A and Building B. Whenever you open a drop-down menu, you may find there the map bundle and go to the latest values tab and find there the OpenStreetMap. Configure data sources, that would be entity buildings, attributes, Choose the keys that you want to use for these buildings Address, Latitude and Longitude Enter the name of our map, call it District Map And in Advanced tab we can make following edits Now add the widget Congratulations, you've created your first widget. Whenever you click on a building, a pop-up, a tooltip appears with the name and coordinates of the building. Try out. Now continue to enrich our dashboard. We will add the entity table widget. We already have a map widget that displays our buildings or particular district A. This type of widget is located in the Cards bundle. You may choose the Latest Value tab and then, again, configure the data source, it would be Entity, Buildings, and choose the key to render. It would be the address only, so you don't need to show latitude and longitude attributes on the entity list. In the Advanced tab, change the title to Building List. Remove the check mark from Display the Entity Type column. Click Add. Now we have created an entity widget that displays a list of our buildings. Thank you for watching. We will continue dashboard development in the next video.